What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the player of the month J League players. Now these are available for nominating contract and they are in conjunction with these ones. So both of these limited draws here are available for about 27 days and they're all available all the players in both packs are available for nominating contracts so if you are a newcomer you can unlock nominating contracts here within the match pass there is free ones that you can unlock here uh which you can see here play one match you get a three star play five matches you get another three star 10 matches you get a four star and 15 matches you get a five star this is the free version obviously you get more in the value in the premium which i've done a video on as well but yeah you can get a couple of free nominating contracts there so that is just if you don't have any nominating contracts that is the way to get them so we've already done the other nominating contracts where you've got a, a couple of beasts like shu and them but these player of the month japanese players a few people have been asking me to do this review on these now right all of these players are already maxed out so there's no training involved they also have 90 team play, play style proficiency a lot of them have got good uh stats and are in good positions you know box to box center mid here for 88 overall and there's some decent players in these packs i mean look it depends the game is at a place now man where it's kind of in end game kind of territory right they're releasing a lot of cards obviously because april is upon us eFootball 2024 we're going to be getting news on that soon dream team has been out a year when the game first launched a lot of people are going to have cars that are out of contract so they'll need to replace them and all that sort of stuff which we'll get into in another video but like these players that they're releasing are just going to be able to slot into your squad with very little fuss and you know is it worth getting any of these players i mean these four guys at the bottom including these three guys here are all three star right i've got four three star nominating contracts so you're going to be able to get like an 89 uh rated dmf this guy for three stars lads is an absolute monster right if you look at his actual stats there he is on d d form but he has unwavering form as well he's on d with the live update so that will change next week you would hope but he's got an excellent passing abilities. He's also got really good player skills. One touch pass through passing and interception with long range and early crosser. He can play center, attacking or DMF. So he is a fairly decent box to box player. For a three star, I think he's a no brainer. Um, I think, you know, obviously the stamina, the speed and the acceleration are not that big of a concern uh, for a box to box player if you're playing in very defensive minded. And this guy is very well balanced in the attack, <coughs> excuse me, and defense. So yeah i mean for a three star you can't go really wrong it's a free player um you play one game on the match pass and you'll get a free star so a free three star so um the rest of the boys here i mean just an average goalkeeper you've got a center back here not bad either obviously he's got standard form he doesn't have block or interception uh we've also got usami this guy's on a rating he's a whole player whole players at the moment are super overpowered this guy's got some nice stats but he has an inconsistent form so are you going to take a gamble on him for your three star potentially as well i would say that he's probably a good player to get because of his player style and the fact that he's got really nice dribbling for a free player a free three star i mean you have to kind of cut your cloth as it is lads i mean you don't need to worry about getting these players and using the nominating contracts if you've got a beastly squad these players won't interest you i mean they definitely won't even make your reserves let alone your bench or your starting 11 if you've got a lot of epics right so there is no five star in these um so going through the bottom pile here junker obviously is a form as well he's got standard form heel trick first time shot dipping shot double touch got some nice skills and nice uh, abilities as well finishing and offensive awareness in the 80s speed at 81 i do think that the problem with this card lads is that it doesn't excel in anything so that is going to be the, the issue you have with a lot of these cards now one of the cards that does kind of intrigue me is this guy as a left back right He's got interception and pinpoint crossing with one touch pass as a left back. He's only a three star. He has also got standard form, which isn't isn't uh, too bad. And on top of that, you've got your 90 team play style. And of course, you've got stats that are literally high 70s and low 80s in everything that you could possibly want for a left back. Very decent if you're starting off and you're just looking to get a free three star. He's probably a good player as well. So I would say Sasaki. I would say Yusami. And I would say this DMF Natsuda. So the three of them are pretty decent for three stars. I don't think Ito is going to be worth it as a creative midfielder. I mean, he's not bad. I did look at him. Now, he does have no look pass and super sub. Um, he doesn't have one touch pass, which is kind of a must for an AMF, depending on how you play him. But he does have true passing and knuckle shot and long range shooting. 
very good dribbling, very decent stamina, offensive awareness, and speed for a three star. So yeah, I would definitely give him a look at as well. But then the four star, there's only two four stars. So we've had a previous version of this guy, Osaka, before. Not bad. I mean, obviously, you're going to be able to, to lead the line with somebody like this. He's got a wavering form, one touch pass, first time shot, track back, cut behind and turn. Very decent stats, very decent skills. You know what you're getting with these center forwards. I mean, I genuinely think the nominating contracts on the other um, players are way better. If you haven't checked out my review on them, you know, they're way better. And obviously, you can train them up how you like. These are kind of a bit of a miss for me, in my opinion, unless you're a massive J-League fan or a fan of some of these players or teams. And last but not least, we have Nagato. Again, this guy is a left back. He's got some fairly decent um, abilities. He's on C rating this week, standard form, man marking, interception. He's more defensive than any of the other left backs here. He also has early crosser and long throw and pinpoint crossing. So for me, this guy is obviously a bit of a beast. Is he worth a four star? That is up to you guys. I mean, if you've got a lot of four stars, if you've got four or five four stars from like, you know, unlocking them over the last couple of weeks and you haven't spent, I definitely think you could do a lot worse than this guy as a left back, right? He's got really nice stats. He's got good speed, good stamina. That 91 lofted pass is going to be beautiful for just lobbing the ball up to your center forwards. If you've got a tall center forward like Haaland or somebody that can win their aerial duels um, and knock down and, you know, get on the end of stuff. Heading has been nerfed massively, right? But it's been nerfed in a way that you don't score as often from headers now in the box. Um, you don't score as many goals from heading, but it hasn't been, I think it's been buffed. It's been increased with winning aerial battles. So I think if you're looking to play a tall player, you're not looking to score goals with him from the head, from heading, you're looking to knock down balls and break up play. Um, and this guy could love, have a lovely bit of, uh, bit of pass in here. He can also play left mid. So that is it for me, lads. It's gone through fairly quick with these, but to be honest with you, I genuinely don't think if you've been playing the game for more than a month, um, you're not going to really fit these guys into your squad. Unless you want to just train them up and you just want to see a few different players. Um, if you want to play Ito and Usami um, that are on A form, Nakato, Nagato is quite decent as well. But yeah, for me, I think these are more skip um, and they're more missed than hit. So I genuinely do think that you should probably save the nominating contracts for the other pack. But then if you do have a load of player contracts, our player nominating contracts, I definitely think you could go a lot worse than Nakato here. And I would also say this DMF here, he looks like a very intriguing player as a box to box. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out more videos. We will be back very, very soon with some more player pack reviews and some more training guides. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.